Hello traders, I am Miroslav Popov, the author of Forest Strategy Builder Professional. In that video, I will cover a topic about uh, how MetaTrader manages uh, ticks near to the bar closing. And this is a rather serious topic because uh, during that week, a user of Forest Strategy Builder Professional reported a strategy that uh, doesn't trade at uh, his MetaTrader. So I'll show you what's the reason and how Forest Strategy Builder covers uh, that issue. So let's uh, make a simple strategy. I use uh, I open a position at bar closing and close at the next bar closing. And this strategy doesn't trade because uh, we don't have uh, entry conditions. And I use something simple like uh, moving average. Like that. Moving average rises. Mm, that uh, strategy goes to margin call, so I will reduce the trading size to have uh, more deals, like that. The result uh, doesn't matter. Mm, what we have now, enter at bar closing when moving average rises, enter long. So we open long position when moving average goes up at uh, the last uh, tick of the bar, and we close at bar closing at the next uh, next bar. And we immediately open a new position. Let's see that on the chart, how that works. When moving average goes up, for example, let's see that bar, the bar, the, the last tick is here, the bar closing is here because this is a white bar. So we open a long position at the end of the bar and that position is transferred to the next bar and we close the positions here. And that's so on. I will save the strategy with a name and it be uh, test bar closing and I uh, will export an expert advisor okay it's exported I go to my match trader refresh the expert advisors and it this is our expert um, I will test that expert on uh, what is that Euro USD M5 market and I, I use the most precise method trader backtesting method every tick. How precise is that? Uh, we'll see in a minute. Mm. Now it's 2017, and I use uh, the previous uh, starting date. Let's be January 1st, 2016. Okay, let's not be January 1st. Let's be January 10th, for example, because uh, on January 1st the market doesn't work. Let's select my strategy here. Test bar closing, every tick mode, visual, and start. MetaTrader meta -tra loads uh, the data, and uh, it will start trading. So, okay, MetaTrader open, opened the position. We see here, no, we don't have a position. Uh, it just uh, go, and we see, uh, the bar change it, but uh, it doesn't trade. What what is that? We see in Forest Strategy Builder, we are on EURUSD N5 market and we trade every minute. And this is the same expert, and here it doesn't trade. This is uh, very very strange and it's not good at all. So, uh, okay, this every tick. Let's uh, change to control point and start it. The same expert, the same uh, uh, data series, and now everything is fine. And uh, the problem for that is a bug in MetaTrader. Um, that bug is not new. I found that uh, almost two years ago and reported in the MetaTrader forums. Uh, MetaTrader strategy tester doesn't generate ticks near to the end of the bar. And I post, very, post various uh, examples here in the trader and also I opened an issue to meta quotes in the service desk. But uh, when uh, what I expected, there is no uh, response and the bug is not fixed in MetaTrader. So let's see what is the actual bug. I met a very, very simple expert advisor. Uh, I call that uh, print bar closing time. And this is the code of the expert. And let's ignore for a, a moment uh, that line is here. So every time when there is a tick in MetaTrader, uh, I set that variable here with the 
the current bar uh, with the current uh, tick time. I take the time and uh, take the date, uh, minutes and the seconds and put in that variable. And I do that at every tick. But uh, when the bar changes, so uh, uh, I detect the bar change when the volume is, uh, the volume of the last bar is uh, equal to one, the first tick. So I print the variable. And uh, what it happens, uh, I actually print the closing time of the the previous bar close, the, the last tick of the previous bar. And uh, let's compile that. We see there is a zero error, zero warnings, and this is a very simple expert advisor. Even I cannot make mistake in that. And I use the strict mode to be sure that everything is uh, the best. Now I, I run that expert in MetaTrader, print bar closing, and I use uh, every tick. Let's cre uh, create the journal first to see my uh, output. And uh, let's wait, uh, uh, wait for the expert to start. Okay. That expert doesn't trade, it only prints uh, the last bar closing time. Let's see the journal. Okay, what we expect here to see? We, we expect to see that uh, the bar closes near to, this is uh, the hour, minute and seconds. And we want to see ticks until seconds number 59. But what we see here is the, the, the method trader decides that the last tick of each bar is about 35th seconds of the last minute. So let's, let's take that one. It, that bar must close at uh, 12 at 15. So I expect the last uh, tick to be about uh, 12, uh, 14 minutes and 59 seconds. But it doesn't happen. You see, we, we don't have uh, ticks for the last 25 seconds. <laughs> what is that? This is uh, MetaTrader's uh, every tick most, mode, every tick. So it must be the most precise method according to MetaTrader. But how precise is that? It uh, doesn't generate ticks. Let's uh, test uh, mm, what to test control points. When I run, I run control points test, okay, and see the journal. Now everything is fine. So when you when we use tick mode. It has conditions where the meta trade doesn't generate ticks, and that that was reported almost two years two years ago to meta trader to meta code say they don't want or don't care doesn't care about that so why to care it's the trader's problem not their problem. Um, we obviously we cannot tr trade uh, with a tester like that. And uh, what we do in uh, Forest Software with the uh, Forest, uh, Forest Strategy Builder, we always try to fix the issues that uh, MetaTraders has. How we fix that? So the first workaround is when you have uh, strategies uh, that use bar closing, uh, we can use uh, control points for testing, what I showed you al already. Uh, when, uh, when we use control points, uh, it uh, Okay, you see it works fine here. Uh, this tick, uh, this uh, bug uh, doesn't appear in the control points. Other solution is, uh, let's see the strategy here. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll change a little bit the strategy and I'll make it to open a position at bar opening like that. Uh, the result is same, <laughs> of course, but uh, now we open our position at, uh, at the beginning of the bar. It calls at the end of the same bar, so we don't uh, have a transfer from bar to bar. And uh, it uh, actually it's uh, almost the same, but uh, because the uh, it's not exactly the same, uh, because here we don't uh, we don't uh, pay um, uh, transfer uh, tax or swap uh, when uh, we transfer a position overnight. So that, that's better. And uh, we, in Forest uh, Strategy Builder, 
we prefer to open position at bar opening and close at bar closing. Okay, it's a very simple strategy and I'll, I'll export it that. It will override the old expert. And uh, let's see what happens in MetaTrader. Mm, I'll refresh here to have the to recompile the new code of test test bar closing, and I use uh, every tick. Let's see what will happen. Okay, it works. Let's f we have enough deals now. I'll, I'll zoom. Zoom in that to show you something how to zoom that. Um, uh, do you see? Do you see what happens here? We have to open a position at the beginning of the bar. At the beginning of the bar and to close at the same bar. Here we open the the beginning and close at the end of the bar. We, we don't want to, to transfer our position for the next bar. But uh, here in MetaTrader, we see that the position is transferred. Uh, this is actually our workaround to the, the book of MetaTrader. So uh, we open a position at the beginning and close at the, at the end of the bar. But because MetaTrader has a book and it, <laughs> it doesn't generate ticks at the end of the bar, uh, our experts they detect that we want to, to close at the end of the bar, but because of the bug, the position is not closed. The expert uh, actually closes that position at the first tick of next bar. So we, the the best we can do is uh, to to close at the next available tick or the first opportunity. So that that's why when we see the the chart, the position is closed at the next opening instead of uh, this uh, the current closing. And uh, this is a workaround. The same is for long positions, but <clears throat> here is difficult to see that that uh, the position is actually transferred. Let's uh, test uh, the same expert uh, with uh, control points. It's better. Okay. Now it's faster. When we use the control points. MetaTrader correctly closes uh, the position uh, at the same bar. There is there is no transfer to the next bar, and uh, so we see our expert advisor works uh, uh, correctly, but uh, it it works in the best way our MetaTrader provides. So uh, this book appears only when we use uh, tick testing. In MetaTrader, when we, when we trade uh, live, uh, this bug doesn't appear because uh, MetaTrader it uh, it uh, prints or it raises a tick event when the tick uh, comes and when the tick comes near to the end of the bar, uh, our expert will detect that that uh, tick. So it is not a problem when we trade uh, uh, with our experts with uh, experts expert advisor expert with with uh, for strategy builder professional. Uh, also, I'll show you something, how uh, our experts detect bar closing, because uh, MetaTrader doesn't raise an event when uh, we have uh, bar closing, or just before the bar close, uh, we use uh, some uh, tricks here, and I open this, this expert advisor, mm, we have a variable Let's see what what was that. Bar cost advanced. Uh, when we, when you have ticks, the the expert advisors exported from a forex strategy builder professional, uh, they check the time of of that tick, and if uh, this tick is uh, around uh, 50, 15 seconds or minimum fifteen seconds before the theoretical uh, end of the bar. Uh, the expert advisor uh, decides that uh, this is uh, the last tick of the bar and uh, and uh, send a cost signal if it, or open signal uh, uh, if if you use a bar closing. So uh, we can adjust uh, that uh, variable here, 
And for example, if I increase it to uh, let's be 30, that means uh, every ticket, which is uh, at least uh, 30 seconds uh, uh, before the end of the bar, will be considered as a closing tick. And uh, when I compile that test bar closing and test it again with uh, every tick mode, it, uh, it must uh, close the positions at the same bar. Let's see. Okay. Yes, we see the position is closed at the same bar. So, what is uh, these are our two workarounds uh, of that bug. The first is uh, if uh, there is no tick within that uh, predefined time here, within uh, that uh, 15 seconds or what time you decide to set, uh, for a strategy builder, we close or we will trade the, uh, the expert and the next bar opening. And uh, if you want, uh, we can increase that time. So uh, 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 what we see, the, the problem is uh, uh, for uh, within uh, the last 24-25 uh, seconds. So uh, if we set here higher time, let's uh, let's be 30 seconds for example it will trade but uh, it we lose a precision here because when we trade the wife uh, it will actually will not trade uh, during the last 30 seconds so that is uh, what we can do uh, according to me 50 seconds is uh, is enough but uh, this is this uh, this is what uh, method uh, provides and uh, I actually hope uh, that uh, sometimes, uh, sometime uh, Meta Quotes will decide to fix that bug. And that is for that video. Thank you for watching. And if you like it, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye bye.